The holidays are just around the corner, so most Americans are swiping their cards left and right. With consumer confidence up and record highs in the stock market, what can we expect to see this year? To hear her take, we're joined now by Melissa Armo, founder of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, a study from MasterCard shows that U.S. retail spending was up 3.6% between November 1st and December 9th from the same period in 2016. And since November, e-commerce sales were up 16.3%. So is the upcoming holiday season the main reason for this, or is there something else at play? Well, thanks for having me. Well, you know what? I think that today is a great example of why consumers are having so much confidence. Look at the market. We just closed at record highs again today. I mean, the SPY has made a 25% move in one calendar year. So to get numbers like that, I mean, you're not surprised. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if by the end of the year, the numbers not only meet expectations, but exceed the expectations that companies thought that they would have for the, for the sales for the holiday season. Well, despite the retail boom, it's one of the only industries that's not adding jobs. So should we expect to see strong retail sales after the holidays if we keep seeing store closures? Well, here's the thing. These, some of these stores have got to compete better, the brick and mortar stores with the online, online stores. And they're trying to do that. But the problem is with the holidays, a lot of these stores have big sales because they do the, the price slashing. A lot of them have 45% discounts for the Black Friday and the holiday season. It's hard to compete then because during the year, if these brick and mortar stores have these huge sales, people wait or then they shift to go online. So I think the challenge for brick and mortar stores for retail, anyone that's still out there that's competing, okay, the Walmarts, the Targets, the Kohl's, the Macy's, anyone that's out there that's fighting for market share against the Amazons of the world, they've got to find a better way. And it's, it's not always giving the discounts. Like, for example, Kohl's, the stock was in a downtrend right before the holiday season. It was trading around 38, around November 9th, before the Thanksgiving rush. It's up now today, had a huge rally again today, back up in an uptrend over 54. You, you, you know, the stock was dragging all year. They've got to find a better way to get people in to buy. And, you know, that's the challenge right now because you, you look at Amazon. You bring up a good point because even though the internet has definitely disrupted the retail industry, online sales only account for about 10% of total retail sales. So if that is the case or considering it is, why do you think the industry is doing so poorly when it's not the holiday season? Is it just because during Black Friday they um, end up you know, putting everything 75% off? Well, the thing is, it could be different in 2018. That's what I'm saying. People now are lightening up on their pocketbooks. They're, they're, not, they're feeling like they can spend money. That's why consumer confidence is high. That's why people are feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't have to worry about so much in the future. I can go out and buy this gift. And there's something big. It's not just the holiday sales that, we, that we're seeing a trend here for the, for the shopping. It's something called self-gifting, okay? So self-gifting is, oh, I need that so-and-so. I'm going to buy that for myself, plus the presents for my family and friends. So self-gifting has been a big trend this holiday season. I think overall, you're seeing people feeling like they can loosen up on their pocketbooks because the economy is getting better. And that overall is going to project into 2018 if the market continues to rally. And once again, the tax bill. If these companies, if these corporations are going to get this huge tax break, if this really passes, which everyone feels is very optimistic that it's going to happen. That is going to help give all these companies a boost. Target, Walmart, Macy's, Kohl's, all these companies I'm talking about. Amazon, too, they're going to get a huge tax break. Well, as you just said, there has been a major focus recently on consumer confidence, which is sitting nicely at a 17-year high, but wages still remain pretty stagnant. I mean, we just saw that in the most recent jobs report. So how is it that Americans are feeling optimistic if we're not feeling improvements in our paychecks? Well, I think people are feeling optimistic because if you have a 401k plan and you're reading your statements for the last year, it's increasing without you having to do anything. So that right there makes people feel better about the future, more secure for their retirement. Also, if they do these tax cuts for income tax going into 2018, people are going to see that immediate savings. They're, they're going to see that immediate savings, and that makes people feel more optimistic about the future. As far as the wage growth, I mean, people have been talking about this. I don't know why it hasn't caught up 
with everything else, maybe it's just one of those lagging things that's gonna take a while to get caught up. Maybe you're gonna see an after effect of these companies saving money on the taxes with the corporate tax rate being cut, and then they're gonna start to pay more for more qualified labor. I mean, maybe that's gonna reflect on top of that after the fact. I mean, I don't know why we haven't seen that because unemployment is low, but I definitely think that companies might wanna pay more for better labor, pay more wages, and that might have an effect maybe 12, 24 months down the road. Melissa Armo, founder of The Stock Swoosh, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks, thanks for having me.